Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm here for the review for Mob Wives Season 6. Um, I can't remember what episode this is, but before we get into that, um, I just want to, um, my prayers are with Mika from the Ghetto View. Um, I know she, you know, was at the hospital or whatever. I'm not sure if she's still there or not, but, um, I'm just sending, you know, I just want to send my prayers to her and everything, and I hope everything is, you know, all right with her or whatever. Um... So, yeah, and I want you guys to, you know, keep her up in prayer, too. Um, what else? Oh, the made it to 50 subscribers, y'all. Um, I know, you know, to some people that may not be a lot, but, I mean, that's an accomplishment to me, you know what I'm saying? So, I am just really happy or whatever. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and everything. And let's shoot for another 50 more, all right? <laughs> And um, before, and then also too, before we really get into this, I also want to keep Big Ange in prayers because you know, um, she her her cancer had gotten worse. Um, I didn't know she was stage four. I did not know that, and it seemed like it's spreading or whatever. And she's going to stop the chemotherapy treatments and start doing the cannabis treatment so yeah i'm just hoping everything works out for her and I, i'm praying for her so much because you guys know i love big Ange for mod wives and everything so yeah i just you know just really want to keep her in my prayers but um yeah let's just get into it i'ma just go by how everything went in the episode so we get the continuation of the ogs meeting up in the um warehouse or wherever you want to call it and, um, of course, Drita is the last one to show up. I told you that damn Drita is the last one to show up to everything. Um, Carla, she kind of starts it off. Um, and then, you know, she calls Drita out about Drita kind of egging her at Renee's party. And, you know, um, Drita is not understanding how Carla left or whatever. And, you know, just the same old bullshit, like... How she don't understand how Karen and, and, and um, Renee be friends with her again all of a sudden when they was talking all this shit about her and all this stuff. Karen was like, Drita, people move on. Like, people, friends fight or whatever, they move on. That You know, that's what it is. And so, you know, Carla, she brings up the whole love situation or whatever. And Drita says that she said... That if you hit Carla in front of me, if it's a problem. And Carla, she just felt like, no, you should have said um, it's going to be a problem if um, you hit Carla, whether, you know, you was there or not. You know what I'm saying? I felt I felt Carla on that one. Um, like, yeah, because, I mean, had it been me, you hit one of my motherfucking friends, it's going to be a problem whether I'm there or not. You know what I'm saying now? Um... Like, I mean, if it's a friend that I know can't fend for themselves, really, because Carla is not a fighter, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, she's not a fighter, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, like, one of my friends get jumped or whatever, oh, that is, yeah, it's gonna be real, it's gonna be real hell to pay, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, Carla is not a fighter, I know I keep on saying Carla, but th th that's how they say her name, and y'all know they say Drita's name, Drita, so yeah, um... <laughs> So what else happened? Um, Carla, she's like, you know, it's not about um, love. It's about our friendship. And, you know, um, she was like, you shouldn't have told my business to Big Ange or whatever about, you know, the whole domestic situation that she was in with one of her ex-boyfriends. Um, you know, Renee, she, you know, Renee, she's like, you know, both of you's is hurt. Or whatever so like why just not fix it like damn like just say that you know what i'm saying and Drita, she's like renee should be the last one to try to fix the issue and she's like you know what do you what, what do you mean or whatever like i should be the last one or whatever Drita is like you know renee has said terrible things about her all you bitches done said things about each other so cut the bullshit renee calls her a bully or whatever um you know and Renee says that Brittany told me that you said that I was the cause of all the problems. And then, you know, Karen chimes in and then lets it be known that we all have had fights with almost everybody in this group or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Drita pretty much admits that she was wrong for just for saying that Renee is the cause of all the problems. So, they're, they're getting somewhere. Um, what else happened? Renee, she also apologizes to Drita. Um... 
Carla, she just felt like she was hurt by, um, you know, we still, we still, I guess we just ain't gonna never find out what the real issue was to begin with. You know what I'm saying? With Carla and, um, um, Drita. And, um, Drita, oh yeah, I already said Drita apologized or whatever. Um, and she pretty much says her piece. Karen, um, says that, you know, let's just leave everything in this room or whatever. Let's not be, you know, like they pretty much is like, let's not sit up here and, and, and be cool now and then talk about each other later on. That's pretty much what it was. So, um, that was the end of that. We get Renee, AJ, and his girlfriend, Andrea. And, um, they, they, they all go to, they go to this bar or whatever. It is like an Antarctica kind of setting or whatever. Like, it's literally cold in there. Like, literally cold in there. It's not just the setting, like, you know, with the, um, igloo stuff going on. Like, it's literally cold in there. So, um, pretty much she wants them to come back to the house or whatever, you know, after she done hired the medium and everything to get the ghost out or, you know, tell her about, you know, what kind of ghost is in her house. And, um, you know... She trying to she pretty much bribes them with watches or whatever. Um, I know she gave AJ a Rolex. I can't remember what kind of watch she gave um Andrea, but uh, you know, she was like, you know, she was like, you know I has to bribe you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they kill me the way they talk. They put S's at the end of words that don't it don't need to go there. She was like, you know I had to bribe you. <laughs> and um you know, he was like, you know, so they, I mean, they agreed to move um, in or whatever or stay there with her a few days out the weekend. He was like, well, next time, can you pick um a restaurant that isn't so cold or whatever if you're going to bribe us for something? So, uh, moving on from that, you know, we get a scene with Marissa and um her boyfriend, old sister, August or whatever. They're pretty much buying him birthday clothes, whatever, whatever. Um... They have a good relationship, um, her boyfriend, um, sister and her, they have a good relationship. Um, she talks to them about the girls. August pretty much knew all of them growing up, just like her brother O, knew all of them growing up or whatever. And, um, you know, she tells her about the situation with Drita, but pretty much how they squashed it or whatever. And, you know, she was like, yeah, because, you know, Drita's a sweet girl. And then she tells her about the situation with Brittany, how Brittany is a flip-flop or whatever, whatever. Um, and was saying how she was talking shit about Drita and she don't do flip-floppers. Um, then we get another scene with everybody. Well, the next scene is everybody except Drita and Marissa. Um... And she brings up, you know, how, you know, how things are going between Karen and Storm. And, you know, she, you know, lets them know that, you know, everything is pretty much good right now. Whatever, whatever. Um, soon as Brittany comes in, Ange immediately tells her about what um, Marissa said about her. And, I'm, you know, Car um, not Carla. Car Karen, she was like, damn, Ange, like, you know, the OG, you know, like the OGs, we just, you know hashed our shit out now you like you know <laughs> like you causing more controversy and I'm a, I'm, i was kind of like yeah and it's like damn y'all just you just set these um the the other three bitches down for a situ i mean to hash out their issues or whatever and now you causing more issues with amongst the newbies in the group and i like i said i understand what people be saying with Ange or whatever now like i said i don't know if she intentionally be trying to start you know issues or is she really just be trying to get shit resolved but like i said it's the way she does it that kind of make you look at her like like Ange girl you being messy you know what i'm saying but um so Brittany is confused by the whole flip-flopping thing. Like, what do you mean, like, a flip-flopping? Like, flip-flopping about what? Or whatever. Carla, she brings up the Hamptons or whatever about how, you know, when they was talking about Dreeter, how Brittany was talking shit or whatever. She didn't even know Dreeter at the time. She just was sticking her nose in the business or whatever. And, um, you know, I guess they felt like, well, Marissa felt like, her loyalty should have been with Karen because, you know, the history that Brittany and Karen has and everything. 
And um, Karen, she's kind of like, you know, she don't have an issue with her and Drea being friends and everything. And um, she was like, you know, I get it. You know, you may... She was like, I get it. You know, you fuck with me. You fuck with her or whatever it is. Like, you don't really have an issue. Like, that's pretty much what she was saying. Like, you don't have an issue with neither one of us. So, um... You know, she also... Brittany was like that she feels like um, Marissa is desperate and is trying to get all the girls um, pretty much to, I guess, not like her or whatever. She's getting irritated. Um, they t they say that they the both of them should talk and have a conversation. Brittany is not even... At this point, she's not even at the level of just talking. She ready to fucking fight this girl. You know what I'm saying? Um, we get a scene with Carla or whatever. She's moving out of her um old house that she had with her ex-husband Joe or whatever. And she explains, you know, the history or whatever. And um, little Joe, who is 12 years old now, he a badass. I mean, he was kind of bad back then too. But yeah, um, <laughs> he um, he just yeah, they they kind of they kind of run over top of Carla a little bit. Well, the same thing with these girls, though. You know, these girls kind of run over top of Carla a little bit. Her kids run over top of hers. Like, goddamn, you know, he done poured some water on his damn sister head. I was like... So, she calls Big Joe. And, you know, he, he kind of disciplining little Joe a little bit. But he kind of joking around at the same time about it. You know, whatever, whatever. Um, Marissa, Carla, Karen, and Dreeter. So, Dreeter... She's the last, we had again, like, like I said, she shows up to everything, you know, as the last one. Um, Drita asks Marissa about the issue with, um, Brittany or whatever. Um, they bring up the whole flip-flop and comment. Um, Marissa tells Drita straight up what the fuck it was. Like, you know, old girl was talking about you in the Hamptons or whatever, and she didn't even know the situation, and then she want to be up in your face at Angie's party and be all up under you the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And Drita was kind of like, well, Marissa, you clearly give a fuck if you doing that much observing or whatever. But, um, I mean, everybody else kind of peeped the shit, too. It wasn't just Marissa. You, you know what I'm saying? Um... Karen understands both sides of, you know, she understands both sides of, you know, Brittany and Marissa. Um, Drita says that Brittany has said that Marissa pussied up on the whole Lush comment and that she backpedaled. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily she backpedaled. I think Marissa was just kind of like, fuck it. I mean, we arguing about this dumb ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, over a fucking comment that wasn't that serious. Even though, when, um, Brittany made it clear to her, like, you know, I don't like that, that whole Lush thing, Marissa should have just kind of been like, alright, well, I'm not gonna say that anymore, considering the fact that they don't, you know, they don't really know each other like that, you know what I'm saying? But, she did keep on saying it or whatever, and then when it got to the whole winery thing... Then, then at that point, you guys remember when she had said the whole comment again, it did sound like she was coming from a place of disrespect at that point. But, um, but yeah, you know, I wouldn't say Marissa pussied up. It's just kind of like, she was just kind of like, fuck it. I'm not, but you know, we're not going to sit up here and keep this shit going on some dumb ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Like over a fucking lush comment that wasn't that serious. You know what I'm saying? So, Marissa is shocked to hear this or whatever. She was like, I pussied up or whatever. Like, fuck out of here. No, the fuck I didn't or whatever. Whatever. So, moving on from that, we get a scene with Ange and Renee. They're at Renee's house and, you know, um, they're up in AJ's room and Ange is telling her this look babyish or whatever. Ange says she's going to help decorate. Um, Renee, I guess she was trying to do some shit up in the room, but... Her um ass into putting holes in the damn wall, <laughs> um smoking weed or whatever you know, smoking that good Kush and you know she probably had a, a glass of alcohol too. You know? I'm just saying that good Kush and alcohol, but um, but yeah. So moving on from that, we get um another cute scene with Karen and her daughter. Um, they're getting their nails done and um, you know. 
Karina, she talks about um, making the transition from Arizona to New York and how she didn't like New York at first, but then she, you know, got accustomed to it and, you know, she met, you know, met some great people there and, you know, she's into the whole modeling thing and she wants Brittany to help her out because you guys remember Brittany did a little bit modeling too. But Karen was, you know, she's kind of like she don't know about that just yet because she needs Brittany and Marissa to have a conversation or whatever. Um, moving on from that, we get the last scene. Everybody. <laughs> so they all meet up at some kind of bar or something like that. Um, why are they always meeting up at bar? Well... When the OGs met up in the beginning of the episode, they didn't meet up at a bar. but Or, you know, a place that serves alcohol. But a lot of these meetups and a lot of these talks... I mean, on a lot of these reality shows, for real, for real, they be doing shit at the motherfucking club or at the bar. Or somewhere where um, drinks is available or whatever. Knowing that shit gonna get people hyped up even more. It's just like... But, um, Britt, she, she's just kind of like, she just want to fight. She don't really want to do a whole bunch of talking. Um, the OGs, they're at the bar first or whatever. Um, Brit, Brittany, she automatically lets them know, I'm going to fight this bitch. And they're like, no, 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 like, don't, you know, talk to her first or whatever. And Jindrita, they take Brittany to the side or whatever, and they're trying to calm her down. Brittany is like, there's no second chances. Like, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's talking all this, you know, rah-rah shit or whatever. Like, nah, fuck that. We about to fight. <laughs> you know? And um, Karen says, who Drita thinks she is, you know, taking her friend to the side or whatever. I'm like, well, Karen, why don't you get your ass up then when they got their asses up to talk to her? But, um... Karen ends up walking over there or whatever. And she's also trying to, you know, she's trying to tell, basically tell Brittany to be on some grown woman shit and to not fight or whatever. And, you know, she tells Karen to like, she like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're not going to control me and tell me what the fuck to do or whatever. You know, Karen, she's kind of on the thing of if they both respect me or whatever, they should, you know, like they should respect me enough to not sit up here and fucking fight one another. You know what I'm saying? And it's just kind of like, I mean, I get how Karen th feel. I'm not sure if it's, if, if, if it's a respect thing, though. It's just a simple fact that, like, Brittany felt like Marissa was talking shit. But what Marissa was, you know, saying, though, it wasn't a lie because, I mean, Brittany, you had been kind of on, on some flip-flopping shit. You was talking shit about Dreeter and the Hamptons or whatever, and then now all of a sudden you want to be up her ass now that you done formally met her. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's not like um, Marissa was lying. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and like I said, the other girls, they observed it as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else happened? Brittany, Brittany, she feels like, what else is there to talk about? We didn't already talked in the Hamptons. We agreed that, you know, we're not going to sit up here and talk about each other, but we just don't fuck with each other like that. So, why is she still talking? You feel what I'm saying? Um, Marissa shows up. She shows up, you know, in this pretty, um, ba I guess, I think she had a bathing suit and some kind of, um, um, what you call it? Like a wrap or whatever or something, you know, I mean, y'all know what I mean. Um, it was, you know, nice and colorful. It was very pretty. She looked very pretty. Um, she's, like, unbothered or whatever. Renee explains why they're separated or whatever, um, Marissa was like, they really had to take her over there, you know, away from the a group to, like, calm her the fuck down. Like, she like a rabbit with rabies or some shit like that, she said. I was like, oh, okay. And, um, Karen, like I said, she just wants them to respect her enough not to fight. Brittany's like, don't underestimate me. Um, Brittany is hostile instantly once her and Marissa starts talking. Marissa's like, calm down calm down, you know what I'm saying, and like, you know, she was like, relax, relax, you know, and Brittany, you know, she's asking her about everything that she done said about her or whatever, and, um, 
she was like, you said I was Drita's cheerleader or whatever. And then um, Marissa was like, no, Renee was the one who said that comment or whatever. And then Brittany was like, oh, Renee, can you come over here, please, or whatever. And Renee, she comes over and she owns up to the fact that she said the whole cheerleader comment thing and everything, this, that, and the third. And um, she was like, um, what else Brittany say to her? She said, um... You said I'm a flip flopper or whatever, this, that, and the third. I don't know if I don't know if Marissa owned up to saying that or not. But all I know is that the fight broke out. That was the end of the episode. But um yeah, y'all let me know in the comments. Did Brittany I mean not Brittany, did Marissa admit that she um called her a flip flopper or did she backpedal on that? Y'all let me know in the comments below. But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you guys come back. Make sure you guys follow me on social all social medias that I'm on in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.